Good everyone, my name is Graphics. If you look at the right hand side of the screen, you see a problem on inter penetration where we are told to draw the curve of intersection of these two components, which is a cylinder and a cone. The cylinder is penetrating the cone vertically from the top of the cone. And we are told to draw the curve of intersec intersection, which is the interpenetrating arc. We are going to start drawing it from the plan. This is the plan here, and this is the elevation. Now, looking at the symbol at the top, is telling you that it is in third angle projection. So you need to start drawing from the plan to make it easier for you. You can also start from the elevation, but I prefer starting from the plan. Now, the first thing you do, we're drawing the plan now, is to draw your horizontal and your vertical axis. Now, my long one, short one, to show a center line because a circle is symmetrical. So, I'll draw my center line. And I'll also, at this point, at any point of that line, I'll draw another vertical line. A long one, short one, and so. So, if I place it this way. I'm going to draw long, short, long, short, just like that until now this is the center where they meet, and that will be the center of the circle here that you're seeing in the diagram, right? Now, what is the diameter of the circle? Now that bigger circle is the base. Is showing the, the base of what of the cone from the plan right and if you go straight down to the, to the elevation you see 100 at the base of the cone here so that 100 diameter millimeter diameter is the diameter of the circle here so we need to take half of it so half of it is 50 so if I take 50 from 0 to 5 is 50 right as you can see on your diagram and I'm going to place it at the center here let me call it center O right I'll place it at the center here let me say center O and I'll draw a circle and I'm going to thicken the circle and I'm going to thicken it because it is part of the drawing but this is what we have here now the next thing for me to do to we'll take things one at a time I am going to draw the base of the cone in the elevation now this is the elevation here and I want to draw the base what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an horizontal line here faint line ensure that it is not touching the circle here and from the top here i'm going to measure the height right so what is the height the total height of that figure if you look at it closely the total height of the figure is given to be what 90 right so i'm going to measure 90 from this top here downward so measuring 90 from this top downward here from 0 to 9 is 90. you can see that and i'm going to draw an horizontal line at that point so this is the point here and I'll draw a horizontal line this way then I'm going to project from this point here straight down I'm going to project from this point here straight down this way is that the key? and I'll also come from this point here straight down this way You can see that now this point to here let me call it point a to what to point b is given as the base of the cone in the elevation which is given to be 100 right so i'm going to thicken it from here i'll thicken it to this point is that thickening? so that is the base of the cone now then what is the from the plan here also what is the height of the cone here the height of the cone, if you look at your diagram very well, it is given to be 64, right? 
so i'm going to measure 64 from this place here upward 64 and when i measure the 64 i'll be having this from zero this is zero here and this is uh, 60 then this is 64 right so that will be the height of the cone so i'm going to draw it to connect it with the faint line because there's still more things to do connect with the faint line so that is my cone now I'll go back to the plan. Now if you look at the plan closely, there's another circle there that is not having the same center as that of the bigger circle. And the diameter of that circle is given to be what? 62. So I'm going to, it is offset away from the center. So that means I'll measure 10 to the left from this point to this point is 10 millimeter. So let's do that first. I'll measure 10 to the left from 0 to 1 is 10. Right? And I'm going to draw a center at that point. I'm going to draw a center at that point. Long one shot, long shot, long shot, long shot, long. Right? And I'm going to measure 10 downward also from the center. So from this point to this point is 10, which is this point here, downward. Here to here given as what as 10 right so i'm going to draw another center line here long short long short long short long short long so this is what i have so this is the new center of the circle so the question is what is the diameter of the circle is given to be 62 and i'm going to measure the radius which will be 31 so I measure 31 on my um meter rule from 0 to 3 is 30 and this is 31 here and i'll place it at the center here all right so let me call that center center p right so i'll place it here at that point and i'm going to measure the center this way so that will be 31 i'm going to take in it you can see that so in doing that now, I've got in the other circle, and I'm going to project it down to touch the sides of my cone, right? So I'll project it down to touch the side of my cone. So from this quadrant here, from this point here, I'll project it down to touch here. And from the other quadrant there, I'll project it down to touch here, right? So where they meet, I will start to tick in those points. So I will tick in from this point to this point. From this point to this point, I will tick in from here to here. And also from here to here and also from here to here and also from here to here we have successfully reproduced the figure that you can see at the right hand side of your screen now the next thing is for we to draw the curve of intersection or we'll call it the interpenetrating arc now what we'll do here is that you see this line here i'm going to divide it into five equal parts into six equal parts into as much equal part as you want to divide it into it's not necessarily a fixed um, number right so I should say let me just divide it into six so if I use my line division I can easily um, take this to this point right and I will use my line division to divide that line into six this way at any given distance right and 
you will connect this last point you divide here into six so with the help of my compass so you can just click at the top right corner here to see how you can divide line now right so why I actually need those division of line I don't have to start drawing lines I just move them to this point this point is equivalent to here here also is uh, equivalent to here here also is equivalent to here here also is equivalent to here here also is equivalent to here right so what I'm going to do is all those points I divide I'll just project them to this line here to the side of the circumference of the cone this side here so did it this way this way this way this way and this way right even if you want to move that to this point you can just do that if you want to you don't necessarily do that it should be faint line because it's not part of the figure now when i've done that i can start naming right i can say this is point zero this is one this is two this is three this is four five and six is that again now the next thing is this edge here is already there so i've already moved this so the same thing if i'll start projecting them up to touch the center of this bigger circle so when i do that i'll be having this this way i'll be having this this way so let's move let's start from zero the zero is there. I'll move this up to that circle. So that will be point zero. Right? And I'm going to take my compass. You do it one at a time so you not to not look confusing. It's zero. And I'm going to draw an arc that's going to cut here and here. Right? So that point you see will be my zero and also zero in some other videos you see the circle will be completed i can just easily draw the circle this way if i want to you can see that let me make it more visible i can just draw it that way now i've gotten 2.0 and i'll project them down so when i project it down this one where they intersect with the bigger with the this other smaller circle inside which is the circle of the cylinder that is piercing the cone and i'm going to project this point down that is from here i'll put that down this way right and also the other one let me first of all do this so i'm having this point here right it's almost at the same line with this this point here now I'll go to the next one line one I'm going to project so I can easily I'm going to project project this to touch this that is point one right and take my compass to the center of the bigger circle this way and take it to one and I'm going to draw another circle now the circle is meeting this circle here that is the circle of the cylinder we'll call it one i will call also the other point here also we'll call it one is that again and i am going to project it outward this way so it's so on the same line as this right so i don't i'll move this down this way So this is one here 
that is my point one this is one well one meets one right now i'll go to the next one again which is two i'll project the point of two upward right and that is my point two i'm going to click from this point to this point to get circle two this way now where it meets the circle of the cylinder i'll call it point two and here also i'll call it point two then i'll project that point down so where two meets line two at the horizontal is at this point here so this is all our point two right now the next one is three I'm going to project three upward this way to touch the horizontal line and this is my three here taking my compass place it at the center here and take it to three right and I'll draw the circle so where the circle meets the circle of the cylinder piercing the cone this is point three is another word point three now I'm going to project it downward this way you see I'm doing them one at a time to avoid confusion so to touch the line three so this is my point three right then the other one which is four I project the four up which is this already you can see that is already there so I'll just extend it to touch the center of the circle So this is four right and i'll take my compass on the center of the circle to point four and i'm going to draw another circle so where the circle intersect this that will be my four and also where the circle i'm talking about the circle will intersect this that will be another four right and I'll project it downward to meet line 4 this way so it's meeting 4 at this point right then the next one I project it up is what line 5 I'll move it up to touch the horizontal line this is 5 here take my compass 2.5 and I'm going to strike another arc this way so if you notice it this is where the 5 meets 5 here all good and also the 5 look at the circle moving that is the point 0.5 right I got the circle point 0.5 meeting 5 here and also somewhere around this point here if I'm not mistaken so I'm going to project it down Point five. Let's go down. So at this point, so where the line of five meets five here is at this point, and this is the five we have here, right? And the last but not the least, which is this line here, line six. So if I take line six up, is at this point. So we just have that. So this is where to stop. Right? So we have the same five at this point ending at this point here. So where four meet four, this is point four, right? And this is another point four again. So if you know, if you recall, I have four, point four in two places. I have four here and I have four here as I did earlier. So if I project that other four downward this way, it's corresponding with this line here, and four is meeting four at this point. So all those points, I will now use my French curve to connect those dots together. So when I connect those dots together, which will be visible, so if I connect those dots with the help of my French curve from here, and I have this, right? Take three point at a time. 
Okay, this one is this. Three point at a time. Okay, this one is this. Right. Then this. If I do that, so you just use this curve to get this this way. Right. So this is what we have here. Now, if you notice something, I have been having other points too, but I intentionally not project them down so that you get to understand the concept. Now, at the front here, we're going to see all this line at the top here, but at the back, we'll also see the same thing at the back, but it will not be visible as this, it will be hidden. So that is why if you look at this, this is zero, I'll project this zero down so that we'll get the other view, which is the side that we'll not see at the back of the cylinder. So if I form zero again, I project it down on zero is another point. If I form one, I project it down to one again is another point. If I form two, project it down to two again, another point. If I form three, I project it down to three again, another point. Then we'll know that we have four here. From point four, where is it? This point here. I put it down, and this is where the four is. So I can see it's my French cuff, but at this time it will be a faint line, right? It will be what a faint line. That's zero. We have point zero coming down. This is where zero meets zero, right? We have point one. So I'll just join it up. It will be more of a hidden line, right? So let me just. Um, connect that together if I do that I'll be having this let me if you have in you can use your hand and you connect it this is hidden right hidden also So it in two from here. That will help there. Is that okay? So, so this is what we have here, right? The hidden line you're seeing at the back here it shows that you cannot see the view from behind. Why this is the view from the front. So if you have uh, found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, right? Um, thanks for watching.